All right, you're tuned to 88.5 FM, WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut, here at Fairfield University, the Upper Room with Joe Kelly. As uh, I stated before, when we got into the show tonight, we're really excited to have a special guest on, a great, great vocalist, songwriter, and she has a tremendous new record, which is called Sincerely Yours, and we've been playing uh, songs from it as soon as we got it. She is... uh, taking a, a small break from touring in, in support of this record, and we welcome all the way from Virginia right now, Sharon Ray North. How you doing, Sharon? I'm great. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing fine, and, and we were talking off air about a new record coming out and compliments on, on the music and, and the, the packaging and the CD. Um, what's been going on as soon as you had uh, the CDs ready to be sent out? Well, it, it, it all happened a lot faster than we even anticipated. We um, we finished recording back in the winter, and um, everything got packaged and ready to go, and my radio promoter had me send it out, and we went for ads on June 27th, and I got up that morning, and I'm like, okay, well, we'll see what happens. And a few hours later, he emailed me, and he's like, we have liftoff. And the first liftoff came from the U.K. Oh, okay. So we were like, wow, okay. I, and then later that day, it made um, the single, um, Sister Moon, went number five on Billboard's most added singles. And it's just been growing ever since. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it. The other day, I found out that um, I'm number 16 on the U.K. soul chart. A mm-hmm. few weeks ago, I was, I think, 27 out of 30. Then I dropped to 29 out of 30. Then I had this meteoric rise to 18, <laughs> and right. now I'm at 16. So. Yeah, that's right. They're pushing for you and, and, and really enjoying the music. Uh, you know, you listen to this record, and your vocals are just spot on and clear, and, and you're working with some great people as well. Um, yeah. Let me ask you about, we're going to get into um, the first single off, off the CD, Sister Moon. Um, choosing a song... Uh, from an artist's greatest thing, um, what was the decision into that and turning it into your own? Well, you know what? That wasn't one of the original songs that we had decided on. We decided we wanted to do an EP, mm-hmm. and we wanted to do one that was so good that each song could drop as a single all by itself, that they could all just stand alone. And we had the three original tunes, and then we went around in circles with a couple more original tunes, and then we dropped those, and then I picked some other stuff, and then we dropped that. And then one night I thought about Sister Moon. I'm like, I want to do Sister Moon. And the producer, Chris Davis, I'm not sure if he had heard Sister Moon before when I sent it to him, um, but he liked it, and the vocal arranger and producer liked it, and we just said, let's do it. I'm like... I mean, I love Sting. I've always loved Sting. Huge fan of the police and everything. So I was a little nervous. You know, you're always a little nervous when you're doing someone else's song because you hope you can do justice to it and that if they heard it, they would like it and not cringe. Right, right. You know, so I don't know if he's heard it. I hope he has somewhere, but um, I'm pleased with it. I think it came out very well. Yeah, this is... um from Sharon Ray North's album, Sincerely Yours. We should uh, give you a website, Sharon Ray North and uh, Ray, R-A-E, North.com. You can go there and, and find out about her upcoming tour dates. Check out the videos as well, great live performances, uh, interview as well. So uh, we're going to play for you right now. And uh, Sting definitely, I uh, bet, would be grooving to this if he hasn't already. Climb in the charts, Sister Moon, Sharon Ray North, and uh, she'll be back. Right here. Yeah, I'm sure our listeners are digging that one. Sister Moon, the breakout single from the CD, Sincerely Yours, and Sharon Ray North. Those great vocals. Beautiful lady, and her new CD is out. And uh, you recorded uh, a lot, if not all, right here in Connecticut, right? Well, actually, all of the vocals were done, the, the real vocals, the scratch vocals were done in Atlanta. Okay. And when we actually cut for keeps, that was in Wallingford, Connecticut. Okay, just a little outside of New Haven, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so your affiliation with Connecticut, uh, tell us about that. Um, a friend of mine, actually, I'd, I've been to Connecticut, I think, once before this whole thing. I've been to Hartford and New Haven. And 
um, a friend of mine, a vocalist and lyricist and vocal arranger, producer extraordinaire, um, his name is Fred, Freddie Boy Sawyers, he introduced me to the Connecticut Connection, Chris Big Dog Davis. They both were with um, Will Downing, great singer. Right. And I was at a show one night, and Fred introduced me to Chris and said, you know what, we, the three of us, we should work on something together. And we did. You know, I didn't really think it was going to come together and happen, especially as busy as Chris is. Uh, you know, everybody calls him Big Dog. I, I call him Chris, but especially as, as busy as he is all the time because he works with a lot of really big name, spectacular people. Um, but he carved out some time to work with me and, on this project, and I, I love it. Everybody who hears it just really loves it. He did a wonderful job, and um, the original tunes were his music, and Fred wrote the lyrics to them. Um, the background vocalist on Mystery Sincerely Yours and Lonely Nights are um, ladies from Connecticut, Don Tallman and Selena Gibbs Dunbar. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they just all did a phenomenal job. And Chris, he's got a lot of keyboards in that studio, right? I was taking a look at some of the pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he has even more there now than he did when I was last there in February. He right, is right. a keys accumulator. Wow! And don't don't mess with him. He's a big brother, right? He's big. He's yeah. like. You know, six three, three hundred and something pounds. He's right. huge. Right, right. But to hear him play, I mean, and his fingers are so nimble mm-hmm. on those keys. It's just amazing. Sharon Ray North joins us right now, and uh, we're talking about her new record entitled "Sincerely Yours." You can get it at our website, SharonRayNorth.com. dot com. Um, you recently played a festival. Big, uh, the Richmond Jazz Festival out your way, and mm-hmm. it's really grown into something. And uh, you play there every year. What, what's it like playing in uh, your home area? It's always nice to to play in an area where you live. I've lived in Richmond now for eight years, um, so I've gotten to meet quite a few people, and people have come out to hear some of my local performances. So to be, you know, on one of the stages at that event because there's three stages. And um, it's it's very nice to see people out there that you know. A lot of times when you're out gigging and you're all over the place and all over the country and whatnot, um, there are a lot of times not many familiar faces in in the audience. Mm -hmm. So to see people that you know is is always nice. We're going to get into another track off uh, the record, Sincerely Yours, and this this got a funky groove to it. Lonely Nights, tell us about uh, recording this one. Wow, this one was a lot of fun. Um, I I came up there to meet with Chris in March of last year and to listen to some of the music in his vault, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And this was one of the ones he had me listen to. And the minute I heard it, I thought, yeah, I want to do that. Um, And I had a a blast singing it, and... um, uh, Don Tallman is is on background vocals, and she's just an amazing singer. And we just had a lot of fun working on it. it, it it's a great song, and you know what? Of all the songs on the project, that one and Sincerely Yours are the two that are blowing up the most right now. You know, so it's exciting to watch those two songs arc the way they they do. All right, this is Lonely Nights from Sharon Ray North here on the up. Another great song blowing up with the audience. Sharon Ray North with uh, Lonely Nights from Sincerely Yours. And uh, Sharon is with us and uh, jo- enjoying the day off from, from performing. But uh, I'm looking at uh, you've got something on September 3rd, right? I do. Um, there's this uh, little concert series in a little town in the northern neck of Virginia called... Um, Deltaville, and last year um, I was asked to be on it with this wonderful guitarist named Josh Walker, and with his trio. Mm-hmm. And so we're we're out there. Um, we're going to do a couple of the songs from Sincerely Yours, and then we're going to do like a bunch of jazz standards and stuff like that. So that's September third. You can go to SharonRayNorth.com, and you know. 
get, getting involved in music and, and finding your voice, what was it like growing up, and when did you have the, uh, the courage to, to sing? I always knew I was a singer. Mm-hmm. Even when I was a little girl, I would sit next to my mom and dad's record player, their hi-fi, and I would listen to people like Nancy Wilson and, and Barbara Streisand, and my dad liked a lot of instrumentalists, so he'd be listening to people like King Curtis and the Kingpins, and, you know, and, and I would just sit there for hours, especially with the vocals, listening to them and trying to hold notes as long as they did, even though I was probably like four years old. Uh-huh. You know, and I'm trying to hold like a Barbra Streisand note. or So I always knew that my voice was my instrument. And although I took um, keyboard lessons and stuff when I was younger, like so many other kids do, as beautiful as it was, it wasn't really where my heart was. Mm-hmm. I love to sing. And I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And you were growing up in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, why, how did you uh, wind up moving to uh, Richmond? Well, I came here from Atlanta about oh, eight okay. years ago, mm-hmm. and I moved to Atlanta from New York um, by by trade. Other than a singer, I'm I'm actually a journalist. Okay. And for years, I worked in TV. I started um, in print, and then I went to radio. Okay. And then I went to TV. And after a while, I, I, I got a little, a little, I wouldn't say bored with it, but just wanting to do more right. and different. So I decided to kind of get out of TV. I, I got in and out a couple times before I finally managed to make my way out for good. Mm-hmm. And um, being a reporter, you know, sometimes you travel around a lot. You live in different cities. You're there for a few years, and then you move on. And... Part of that process was I, I moved to Atlanta, and I stayed there for quite a few years, and then I moved here. And you've got uh, radio talking all about saying great things about uh, Sincerely Yours. In fact, uh, right inside the liner notes, you have some uh, prominent names saying all these great, great words about the, the music. And how, how you, I mean, you worked in radio. How, how do you think it's changed as far as get, getting your uh, music heard? Wow. Back when I worked in radio, of course, there was no Internet. That's right. <laughs> you know, so um, there was no iTunes. There were, who ever heard of a download? Right. You know, there was none of that. I mean, you went to the record store and you bought the record and the promoters sent to the stations and you played the records, mm-hmm. you know. And back then it was carts and records. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I you know, started you put in your carts. those carts. I still got yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it was it was different, you know, and, and a lot of times back then you needed the backing of a big label, you know, to, to help you. You know, now you are your own label. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think the, the person who was probably the most visionary with all of that was probably Prince. Yeah, that's true, definitely. You know, with all of the stuff that, you know, he, we thought he was crazy about, but actually it, it's all kind of happened, mm-hmm. you know, since he first started, you know, wondering about that type of stuff. And, you know, when you look at how, like I was saying, the, when we first went for ads that day, the, the, first, the first one we found out about was in the U.K., Right, right. You know, now, back when I was in radio, my goodness, that wouldn't have happened like that. You know, so it's it's a whole different ball game. Um, I think in there are parts of it that make it easier and parts of it that make it more difficult. Mm-hmm. You know, you have you have a lot less control over where your music is and where it's going and who has it. Um, there was a guy who reached out to me from a station, the number one jazz um, station and jazz show in Lagos, Nigeria. Oh, okay, wow. Well, I know I didn't send anything to Lagos, Nigeria Uh-oh. when I first heard from him, and I don't think uh, Jason Gurov had right. either, but, That's right. but he had heard Lonely Nights, mm-hmm. you know, and he wanted um, a clean track of it, you know, so I sent him a very clean 
radio ready track. Right, right. I mean, and I don't think clean in the sense that they're swearing or anything on it because there's not. Right. But he wanted something that, you know, would sound good on the air. Mm-hmm. So just that quick, dropboxed it to him. You know, yeah. and he's been playing it ever since. You yeah. know, so it's there are parts of it that make it a lot easier and parts of it that make it more difficult. Yeah, definitely well said and insight into a new record and, and how it's being heard. And Well, you're a great performer, and, um, you know, I saw some of the photos from the Rich. I believe it was from the Richmond Jazz Festival, but uh, who do you have in your band that you, you go out uh, and perform with? Um, at the Jazz Festival with me was, uh, Vic Smiley on guitar, and he, oh my goodness, he's wonderful on guitar. Um, Jarrell Crockett was on keyboard. Um, well, actually, let me back up. Okay. Jarrell was with me on Tuesday at my CD release party. On Sunday at the Jazz Festival, Lucy Kilpatrick was on keys. Okay. Vic Smiley was on guitar. Shanae Henley was on drums, Kent Frazier on bass, um, Charles Owens on sax, and Mila was on background vocals. And it was the same crew on Tuesday at the CD release. I just had to switch out keyboard players, so Jarrell Crockett was with me on Tuesday. Yeah, in support. It's, it's a great record, Sincerely Yours. And, um, would you know, if you're coming back up to... Connecticut, maybe you can bring Big Dog over here with yourself. You know, we have live performances in the studio all the time. So, I mean, oh, wow. I'd love to have you in here as well. Okay, yeah. that would be great. When the weather's nice, right? Yeah, when the weather's <laughs> nice. Your... <laughs> well, let me know when, because it's, it's nice right now for the next few yeah, months. Yeah, we got, we, got a, we got a window or a few months before and then uh, about six months after that. Other than that, who knows, but. Yeah, 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 let me know. Yeah. Let me know. We put something together and come up. Yeah. So uh Sharon Ray North dot com and uh R A E the Ray is spelled like that. Pick up sincerely yours, get it in your home and support independent music and uh I gotta say hello to Jason Garav because uh Jason's in my fantasy baseball league, a great guy and <laughs> I, I, obviously you guys work great as a team, so uh you know, we wish the success like you were mentioning five singles off this and you know, the first one is just doing incredibly well, and uh, Lonely Nights, that's my pick for the next one, but, you know, it, it, it's your call. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to play Sincerely Yours right now, and really nice to talk with you, Sharon. Well, thank you. Nice to talk with you.